you would make 10% or more every year if you didn't have to pay the US any customs or duties. In this video, I'll walk through how you can do that. Temu imports hundreds of thousands of packages a day into the United States. They don't pay any customs and neither do the receivers. But that's not only for companies that ship directly from China to the US. There are many US brands that appear to ship from within the United States and they also pay no customs or duties. If you're a US e-commerce brand owner or operator, you might find that really appealing. You would make 10% or more every year. There's no changes on the production side of the equation. You still place your order for a full container from your factory. They pack that container, they put it on a ship. They send it over to North America. But instead of it going into the US third-party logistics company that you use today, they'll go to a third-party logistics company in Mexico or Canada. The reason for that is when those items are in Mexico or Canada, they're allowed to ship one package at a time into the US as long as it's less than $800 per package per day, it is free. Now you might say, well, that's great if I get one package, two packages. I have truckloads of packages a day. Well, in fact, that's what the program is designed for. When your third-party logistics company in Canada or Mexico imports that product into the U.S., they upload a form to the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, which is everything that's in that full truck, and then broken down what's in each package. And as long as each of those packages is under $800, those packages come into the U.S., generally with no inspection and never with any customs or duties. Now, you might say, well, okay, great. I understand how to get that in the U.S. for free, but don't I have to pay customs or duties bringing that into Mexico or Canada? In fact, you do not. In Mexico, the rule is the product is imported to Mexico only for export, so you're not allowed to sell it within Mexico. You have to pay zero customs or duties, so that's fine. You only intend to sell it uh, into the United States, so you import it to Mexico, say, I will not sell this within the within Mexico, you're then allowed to bring that into the United States, customs and duty free. Canada, there's three different ways you do it. One, if you bring it into Canada and it's in, from a country that has a free trade agreement with Canada, now it's legally in Canada for free, then when you ship it to the US, it's legally sent to the US for free because it's less than $800, and you have an advantage now you get open the Canadian market where you can sell it within the Canadian market because the product's already there and there's no restriction by the Canadian government. If your item comes from a country that does not have a free trade agreement with Canada, you have to check the harmonized codes. Some items that have a high tariff in the U.S. have a zero or low tariff in Canada. But even if there is a tariff in Canada, you can still avoid paying it by doing what's called a duty deferral. So... If you import an item to Canada and you tell the Canadian Revenue Authority that these items are primarily for export, you do not need to pay duties on those items. Instead, every quarter you report which items were shipped into the U.S. or any other export market and which items were shipped within Canada. Then you only pay duties on the items that shipped within Canada. So again, you bring your items into the U.S. and you're not paying any duties. Now, how does that look to the end customer? Well, what your third-party logistics company does is they put all those items on trucks, they bring that into the United States, and then they hand it off to UPS, FedEx, or USPS, who then deliver it to the end customer. So as far as the end customer concerned, it looks like it came from within the U.S., typically Buffalo, San Diego, Seattle are typical places where you'll see the origin from, but in fact, those originated outside the U.S., were trucked into the U.S. in order to save customs and duties. Now, whether this helps the United States or not is a question for another video. And the environmental impact on this is not great, but this is the reality and you can take advantage of it. If you have any questions, please add to the comments. I'll respond to as many publicly as I can. Thank you for watching.